What is happening, ladies and gents? Slaymate here, playing some more Darkest Dungeon. There's been a new update. It added a few little things, as well as a new champion. Uh, let's start with the glossary. It shows you what everything means, just in case you know you don't uh, you don't know or you're not sure what something exactly means. But, uh, now this will tell you everything that you found <laughs> and everything you need to know. It's it's pretty good. Don't have a heart attack. That's that's good to know. Uh, there's been a lot of balancing and tuning on some different champions, dropping some some skills that might be a little too good, uh, or changing their changing their amounts. I felt like a little, a little tough to put my finger on them exactly without remembering what the stats were beforehand. Uh, another thing that it added was the sanitarium now has the mental ward, which, uh, well, let's just, let's just use it. This lord, no, no, I swear, one of these guys had a disease. There we go. So diseases are now something in a different slot than quirks. Um, and you see the skull up here too. I'm a bad gambler. That means that I've left this uh, negative quirk on my character for so long that it became, I guess you could say, quote unquote, permanent, even though it can also be treated uh, in, in one of these places. So, just a different, uh, a different type of system, I guess. A little, little addition allows you to get rid of these instead of uh, instead of some others. So maybe some of my guys that I've kept um, rabies on will be listed in the quirks or diseases. Really, I don't have rabies on anybody. Come on now, it's like my favorite thing. All right, fine. Be that way. Be that way. Um, anywho, and they added. Uh, you know, reduce cost of all this business, which we'll upgrade. Uh, more cells, which is awesome. Totally take all that. And let's see. Right, getting rid of those will cost a whole lot more than when before they're locked. I mean, the difference is massive. Uh, so early on, that will. That will really hurt some of your champions uh, if, if there's something that you can't get to because, I mean, obviously the, the gambling ones are getting them locked in places to just getting rid of stress aren't that bad, but like this guy, he's got so many that I won't be able to get to them for one, two, three, four, you know, five, etc. weeks. Maybe he has disease. So the amount of time they'll have to do that might make it to where some of these are locked in place and will cost me a ton more, which I granted I, it doesn't matter now, but early game, medium game, <laughs> that could really suck. So I probably want to get rid of, uh, hmm, calm. Calm seems pretty suck. Yeah, so that's, um, that's, that's the new stuff with the sanitarium. It's pretty good, I approve. Uh, another thing that they added is, you see that, uh, these are on this side now, why would I want to do anything with a quirk? Well, what they added was the ability to lock in your favorite quirks uh, up to three. So you can only pick, only pick the best, and he's got multiple things. Um, so, for instance, if you have a tank guy, or you have some um, some of these guys who have like faded, or Maybe you have some guys with... Uh, this guy don't have one? I was going to say plus speed. Like early speed. There we go. Eh, well, not quite. But anyways, you get the idea. You can take take your favorite traits, up to three of them, and lock them so that at the end of the dungeon, when you have full traits, they won't have a chance of getting re-rolled, which maybe the quest log will actually show you. Uh, okay, so... This is broken, but <laughs> uh, when I left the dungeon, it doesn't show me, I was hoping it would show me a little recap, but when I left the dungeon it told me that 
So here, we'll just do it. This is one of the new, very rare trinkets for the new class, the Hound Master, which we'll look at here in a moment. It's, it's pretty good. Um, he gets a little less healing, but he does a ton more damage. Um, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, some provision things. Medicinal herbs can now be used to eliminate your combat debuffs. So I'm guessing when, like, say a Hellion does a Yop or something along those lines where they debuff themselves. I'm guessing you could take a medicinal herb to get rid of them. Really my guess. Uh, holy water. Uh, it gives you increased resistances, so maybe you pop one before a specific boss. Maybe that's prone to blighting, bleeding, that kind of thing. You have a lot more chance to resist those. So very interesting. It's kind of good. I still, still am kind of hoping for a popable stress relief in the form of like a food. You know, they can limit it to where you can only eat a certain amount. Obviously, like one character per dungeon gets to take one stress potion. But uh, something like that would be nice. So let's see. Any of these? There we go. So we got this and replaced Photomania. Uh, scouting replaced Steady. So not this would have been one that I would not really have wanted to happen. So, if I had cared, I would have locked those in place to make sure that my character always had those. Can't do it 100%, only three, but it's still a pretty nice idea. So let's take a look over here and see if we got a Houndmaster. We did not, because the game hates me. Another thing that you might notice is that uh, there are no tabs over on the side here anymore. You need to look at your character, now all you gotta do is right click there, picture or right click the champion and it will bring up that same window so no needing to switch between tabs so it's nice you will endure this loss and learn from it so you can see all the different things that I replaced ranged accuracy with steady this bad trait with another bad trait interesting she must be full on bad traits <laughs> which is really bad. So here's a bad disease that you get. Minus HP, minus crit. Tons of bleed resist dropped, so that'd be a, be a really bad trait that you'd want to, or a disease you'd want to get rid of as quick as possible. This is the Man at Arms. Rare trinket. Um, more prot if he's in the back, which is very strange. More healing if he's in the back. It's a, it's a weird one. I'll buy it just to have it. And uh, let's go take a look at the Houndmaster. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Here we go. Here's some Houndmaster action. Let's see. We got space. The Houndmaster is a baller. <laughs> he's got a cool dog. Uh, he comes with actually let's just let's just take him and we'll buy all their skills. Then we can look at them proper. And I'll highlight it because that's awesome to do. Alright, so Hound Rush. It minus gives the target you are attacking less protection and it buffs you with more damage to beasts. Uh, you've got Hound's Harry, where it does way less target damage, but it bleeds them for however much you have it leveled up to for three turns. Uh, and a lot of these can attack pretty much any area. This one does the entire enemy team. All four bleeds. That's pretty good. It reminds me of like the Reign of Whips from the uh, the giant bandit dudes. Uh, but real nice. Real nice to have an AoE bleed. Uh, and Hound Rush, as long as it's not in the front, you can attack any position. So that's, that's pretty good as well. Uh, the Whistle can also attack any position as long as you're not in the front. Uh, it does like no damage, but it buffs all of your damage for the most part. It gives you a little bit less dodge, but 
more damage to your hound rush skill this one it's pretty nice then we have cry havoc which is a stress heal it's gotta be used from the back back two spaces but you know it's basically the uh, the jester's stress heal except I don't think it's all champions uh, but you know it's a it's another stress reduction method it's all right uh, you've got your self buff for a whole bunch more dodge. It's pretty nice. You can use it from anywhere. Uh, you can give it to anybody else as well. It's it's all right. Um, lick wounds, self heal. Can cannot be used in the front. It's you know clutch clutch heal could be good. Uh, and then you've got your frontline melee, just blackjack attack, where you bop them in the dome for a heck of less damage, but it's it's a very high stun chance. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the... I don't have an occultist at the moment, but the occultist has the frontline stun that doesn't do much damage. It reminds me of that. Um, a little bit more crit attached to it, just like the occultist one. Uh, let's look at camping skills. Forgot to buy those. Whoops. Those are his ones that are different, in case you're wondering why I'm not buying them all. <laughs> He's got less likely to be surprised until your next camp. So that's, that's seen on a couple of different champions, like the Bounty Hunter and a few others. Uh, yep, like that. Highwayman. We've got uh, the Therapy Dog. You just, you know, you gotta, you gotta pet the dog, get a bunch of reduced stress, just like in real life. It's, uh, it's okay. Single target, reduced stress. Uh, man's best friend is for your character, your hound master only, and it uh, reduces his stress. And then release the hound. It improves your scouting chance until the next camp by 70%. So I would say as to camp skills, unless you're like a really big scout um, type of group, I, I'm not a big fan of his He's he's a good a good stress reducer, um, but again, it's only to himself and one other person, which is it could be clutch. But with the way that I play, I tend to just get uh, I tend to get buffs at camps and not much of anything else. That just seems to be how I play. Uh, but overall, I would say that his his camp skills are not not a tier. Maybe maybe a little distress. We'll take a look at his uh, his outfits here. Got the the dark one, the blonde, the brunette, and the ginger. <laughs> I think I like the blonde one for some reason. All right, so let's let's take this into a dungeon and see how it goes. I could even bring two. All right, now you see when you go into a dungeon with a houndmaster, you get these little dog treats, um, and it increases their their vigor for a short time. We'll use it. You can see what it does exactly. Bring twelve food. Bring a couple shovels. Bring some of those. Bring some of those. Some of those. Some of those, and a handful of those. Then we can eat some, see what they do if we need it. So I decided to bring in two Hound Masters in order to showcase all of their abilities. This guy's got more of the frontline stuff, this guy's got the backline stuff. Yeah. So now you can see we could eat those, increase our resistances if we felt like we needed to. We need to explore 90% of rooms, so we're just going to skip that one. Because F that room. Just straight up F it. It's terrible. It's a terrible room right there. Alright, starting off big with a uh, third of our health gone on the healer. <laughs> yeah, look at that animation of looting. Alright, so that room wasn't so bad. My bad. <laughs> 
Looks like we have no fights in this place at all. Complete absence of fights. Don't need to get rid of stress or anything just yet, but maybe on the way back. Come on. Come on, little guys. Just watching that dog animation. Get a let's go torch action. Alright. No surprises, good for us. So, start off with a full party bleed. Can be kind of nice. Okay, it only applied to one. That's not the greatest. Tons of crit damage. Awesome. Maybe we'll see one have a heart attack and die. Uh, so now you can see much more uh, info on these guys as well. You got your little window down there of all their their skills that they have available to them in their current position. Uh, any other factors? It's pretty neat. I like it. Uh, let's see. We want to get a heal on. Uh, he's gonna bleed. Bleed out and die. Let's give it to him. Nice, good dodge. I can always count on you. We'll take a bandage. Now he could do it again and try to like stack even more and more bleeds. It's definitely a strategy, but we'll uh, we'll use a different move here. We'll use uh, the blackjack on this guy. Noise. Look at those angry dog faces. If I, could, if I could have him be, there we go. His face is in front like that. Was angry. Angry, ready to attack. Nice. Look at that block animation. I like it. So rugged. Uh, let's let's just judge this guy and heal ourselves. Yeah. Alright, let's use a different move. Let's buff. Let's buff ourselves. Or not. Oh. I have to pick the target that I want to do more damage to in a coming turn. It did not work. So, hooray. Uh, we now have corpses on the battlefield, which... You know, they take up the position of the guy before, so there's no cycling up until you kill their, or you destroy their corpse. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it. A lot of my strategies have been things moving up into the ranks. We have a guard ally, which I don't really need to do, so we'll do the uh, lick our wounds so that we can see what it looks like. Aww, oh, give the little doggy some kisses. Let's see, I do want to land one of these. I think, can I bleed corpses? I think we gotta try it for science. <laughs> Alright, had to do it for science. Um, I really don't want to kill this thing. So I'm just going to hit a dead body for a bit. You know, just, just beat a dead horse. Just right into the ground. Alright, now the bodies are gone. They get to move up. So it's a little weird mechanic, but, you know, I'll deal with it. Let's do a guard ally just so that we can see what it looks like. You can also see that um, if this guy would have had different moves. It would have shown up. That or it's only the skills you've seen. I'm not not too sure how they how they figure that. Uh, we'll guard this guy. Yeah. Nice. I do want to do this, but I want to do it where I had buffs on it. There it was. He buffed him. Less prot. Would have done 50% more damage had that earlier uh, debuff been applied. I 
as the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. If there are corpses left at the end of the fight, they, as you can see, will just disappear. I needed to use a, uh, a stress, stress howl in one of the next fights. So yeah, killing the bodies, like pummeling them into complete oblivion allows the enemies to move closer like they used to do when you would kill an enemy. It's uh, it's strange. I think it makes most of the fights take a couple extra turns because of the dead bodies. Uh, it also, I, I feel, kind of forces you to bring more of a team that can always hit the back line instead of just killing the front line over and over and over again. We'll, uh... Really? You passed it already? There we go. Yes. Uh, forces you to get a, a team that has range that can always hit the back line. Because I know for some of my other teams, I would just con constantly destroy the front line with, like, lepers. And, you know, that just forces the back line to move up, where now that's not really a thing that you can do. Unless you just want to spend those extra turns destroying the bodies. Alright, so. Come on now. Trap. Starts out pretty high on these guys. We'll go with the one that has least stress. Boom! Awesome sauce. Wow, another one of these. Nice. I don't want to do it though, because I wanted to save one of the uh, one of the holy waters for drinking. I swear there will be some fights in here though. There has to be. There we go. One jade. Awesome. Put that right in my pants. Secrets no. Can be found in the most tenebrous corners of no, the not not my tenebrous. Really? Just just nothing. Nothing in here. With one hallway fight in the whole dungeon. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't need it. Need to eat, little need to eat anything. All right, I'm gonna guess that there's something in this next room, so I'm gonna give him. Plus 99 to everything for three turns. Crap. Well, that went to waste. Is there seriously only going to be one hallway fight in the whole dungeon? I think there will be. And there goes our buff. I don't even know if there's anything I can do to give myself debuffs. Oh well. Oh, look at that. Second fight in the whole place. <laughs> and unfortunately, can't really bleed them. They have really high resist, so that won't be useful. We'll go with our self heal. We'll go with this guy taking more damage in the future. Very nice. Um, let's see. How about we hit one of these guys? Don't want to do too, too much damage. I want to make sure this guy's still alive. Uh, I can hit him with blackjack. Yeah, get stunned. And then take every piece of damage. It's pretty good for early 13. That is that is actually really good damage. And now with all things just being piles, they turn into dust. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, and I need I need one more fight actually. I forgot to do the stress heal to see what it looked like for you. Come on, fight! Yeah, okay. Here's the real test of our skills. So those are those are what we know that they can do in their skills department. Since we've never seen these guys attack, we don't know what their skills are. So I like that whole learning 
learning what moves they have, even though they may only ever have two skills. It's interesting. Uh, let's get a stun on this guy, or we'll miss and feel bad about it. I will hit him with the stress heal so we can see what it looks like. Nice. He healed himself with it though. I thought I was supposed to pick. Does it not say that I choose the ally? Make it to see what one of their death animations look like. <laughs> Where they go, Bleh! and then they're dead. They really don't like Master. They, they think he's terrible. Wow. Okay. So. <sighs> yeah. Target. Except it straight up does not pick the target. Get that debuff. Nice. in the heels on him, even though I'd love to use her to just justice her way out of, or judgment or things out of the situation. Man, they hate this guy. Hate him. Wow, this, this fight is just not going our way. <laughs> Miss pretty much everything. It's a good thing there wasn't any other fights in this whole place. So the base damage, not great, as you can see. I think they fill a very niche role. And I'm not sure where it fits just yet. But um, I'm having some issues uh, really deciding where, where in a group they would ever replace some of my other favorite champions. Oh no. Hopeless. There can be no hope in this <laughs> the trail's gone cold. Alright, we're just gonna have to start pounding on dudes. Good defense. It's to just go offensive. Could have lunged. That's one thing that definitely uh, having corpses does is uh, allow you to use some of your guys' favorite moves on the back line as much as you want, because the corpses will never move them up. Seems I could use lunge forever. Eh, we'll hit him. If he dies, he dies. Wow, okay, he's missed every single skill that I've done. <laughs> okay, he landed one, but it feels like he hasn't, hasn't landed anything, and I repeat, he has missed Every single move that I have done. Alright, you need to just stun somebody or something. Do your freaking job. Uh, but yeah, like my base Vestal is doing way more damage than her, and they, they do feel like more of a support role, obviously, not a major damage dealer. So but, uh. Resistance. So far. So far, I am not loving them. I'm gonna continue adventuring. You know, it's a nice little, nice little thing they've added. Glittering gold, trinkets, and baubles. Alright, now I'm done. Blood. So, yeah, there's your, uh. There's your Hound Master. All of his skills, all of his glory, uh, his camp skills, as we showed, not not too great. Unless you're just trying to get rid of a, a couple of hits of stress, which, you know, 
Progress it could be good. Old. I'm just not in love with that that strategy myself. Uh, he got syphilis, so that's pretty terrible. And yeah, in a, in a nutshell, there's your uh, there's your new update, new champion to Darkest Dungeon. Some some interesting new new features. Definitely definitely make things a little bit more interesting. Or more sections to spend your crests on now. I do like their locking in of traits. Those are kind of cool. Definitely want to keep some of my guys being my favorite guys. Never want them to get rid of Faded. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.